Hello there, I'm Mal, and welcome back for some more Civilization VI! So, in this episode, which is actually episode 0 in the playlist, I'm just going to go over sort of my strategy for this particular Let's Play. We'll go through the, the details of difficulty and game settings and whatnot, then we'll officially jump into the game in episode 1. So, if you actually just want to skip straight to episode 1 right now, you can do that. And I'll put a link, oh, say right about here. So if you click that, it'll take you over. If you're on a mobile device, annotations don't work, but there's a link in the description of this video for the playlist and feel free to jump ahead if you'd like to. All right, so just a little feedback. If you haven't been to my channel before, I play a lot of strategy simulation and role-playing games, and I really, really love Civilization, and I'm really enjoying Civilization VI. Now I've done one complete uh, Let's Play on the channel already as Brazil, and I did so on the standard Prince difficulty. And between the advice and suggestions I got from many of you, um, and just playing the game through that experience, as well as playing by myself some, I feel a little bit more confident in my knowledge of Civilization VI. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna up the game difficulty. And we're gonna go up two notches from Prince to Emperor. And then hopefully after this Let's Play, we'll move up again to either Immortal or Deity. At least that's the plan. <laughs> we might get our faces smashed, but who knows? But we're gonna jump up to Emperor for this one. Game speed, I'm gonna leave the same. Uh, for continents, this time we're gonna go with Pangaea, so one massive land mass with surrounding islands. And I think in future Let's Plays, I'm gonna try some other map types. So if there's one that you think is interesting, um, I mean, I know Fractal can kind of give you some very interesting designs to the landscape and whatnot. But if there's one that you've played yourself or you've seen someone else play that you think is interesting, let me know. All right, so we're going to go with Pangaea. We're going to go with Standard, so average size map for eight players. And then an advanced setup, Standard Rules, Ancient Era Start, Game Speed, all this stuff is fine. Resources is Standard. All of the Victory Conditions. Uh, no Duplicate Leaders. Uh, barbarians we're going to leave in. Um, here's the seed if you guys... I just realized this when I went to go record this, that there's actually a seed number. So if you want the same setup as I do and sort of want to play along, then you have this option. Just type this code in it. You're on your end when you're starting up your game. And I think what we'll do... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight total. You know what? Let's get rid of one random leader. This will kind of give us a little bit, just a little bit more space which I think is can make things interesting. Uh, it also means that there's a decent chance that if one of the AIs is isolated, that they'll run away. Um, they'll just, you know, run away AI, like they'll be uncontrollable or unstoppable. So that, that's a little bit of a risk when you do this, but I, I just want to see how this is going to turn out. I sort of had one in my last Let's Play, um, Russia, uh, led by Peter, just sort of kind of like, phew, they were kind of skyrocketing, and I was, I was lucky that I was able to even catch him. But uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, so anything else we need for this starting conditions? No, I think I think we're good. So let's go ahead and start the game. We'll look at our sort of initial spot and then figure out where we're going to place our first city. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Cast your net wide, O Trajan, Emperor of mighty Rome. Your legions stand at the ready to march out and establish the largest empire the world has ever seen. If you can truly get all roads to lead to Rome, yours will be an empire of great riches and luxuries. Surely then our citizens will proclaim you as their best ruler, the Optimus Princeps. Okay, so let's talk about the special unique things um, for the Roman Empire. First off, we have we have all roads lead to Rome. All, city, all cities you found um, or conquer start with a trading post. So uh, essentially additional resources will be passed along that uh, trade route because it has a post. Um, and if your trade route is in range of your capital, you also start with a road to it, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, if you're not familiar with, and Civ 6 is, 6 is still pretty new, so I'm going to explain concepts as we go through, just as a heads up. Um, but if you, um, in the past, in Civ 5, you would have a builder, and the builder, you'd go 
and you or a worker, you would go and you would build roads. In Civ 6, those connections are made by, uh, as they were in the ancient world, made by trade routes. Um, but they take time to establish, whereas with Rome, you, you essentially you immediately have that, which is a very, very powerful advantage. Uh, you also get plus one gold for passing through a trading post in your own cities. So that's a nice boon to the economy. They have a buffed up um, Legion land unit as a special unit. And then the bath or bathhouse, bathworks, which is a unique district that replaces neighborhoods. Um, you know, what I'm going to do with the Roman Empire, and we'll start here in just a second, is that I'm going to focus on being very, very aggressive, even in the early game. So we will be going for a domination victory. Um, in my previous Let's Play in Brazil, uh, I went for a different victory type. I won't spoil it for you if you ever want to check that out. Um, but we're definitely going to go for domination this time, and we're going to try to take advantage of how quickly Rome can spread. So let's get in. All right, so let's take a look at our initial spot here. Well, I'm not wild about the fact that there's desert over here. But we do have spices here. We've got wheat up here in range. We've got wine in range. We've got truffles over here. So not bad if we... Can we get the truffles in range? If we cross the river, we can. So if we cross here, we'd have one, two, three. We would still have the wheat. So something like this gives us the truffles, gives us the wine, gives us the wheat, gives us the spices. We're within one tile of a mountain, so we could always put our science district over here. Got some good sources of food here, potentially for farms. We can build a try right here. No mines, though, it doesn't look like. Hmm, that's somewhat unfortunate. But I think this is where we'll end up settling. We'll probably settle right here on the following turn. Okay, so in terms of strategy for this Let's Play, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to go for um, relatively quick advancement. That means a fast second city. Now, we have to be a little bit careful. We're on a, on a slightly higher difficulty. I've noticed that the Barbarians in particular are more aggressive, so... Uh, we'll go for a quick second city, and we'll try to pick up some military units along the way. Um, and then we need to locate one or two neighbors as quickly as possible, and then go for an early an early conflict. If we could take out, even if it's a city-state, quite frankly, um, as long as we could take out um, either another empire, which would be the ideal thing, which is what we're going to shoot for, or a city-state early on, then I think that's going to tactically give us a good advantage um, as we transition into later on into the mid game around turn 150. So that's kind of the general concept. Basically grow quickly, very, very early and take some risks with that. Um, you know, grabbing a second or third city very quickly, it, it is risky, but that's what we're going to go for. And then, like I said, we'll move into sort of a war machine type of mode. So I hope that you will join for the, join me for this and that you find it interesting. Uh, if you do, again, please just, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll click... You can click right here-ish. I'll put another link for you so that you can jump to the first episode. Thanks so much for listening. I hope that you join me for the Let's Play. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.